Hello everyone, before I show this experiment, I want to warn you, this experiment was made solely for demonstration purposes. Repeating this experiment without the knowledge of safety and any other specific knowledge may result in an unpleasant consequence. So today, we will make some nitrocellulose. For this we will need two parts of concentrated sulfuric acid and one part of concentrated nitric acid. We will mix the acids in this refrigerator. When acids are mixed, a lot of heat is produced, and the mixture needs to be cooled. The mixture of these two acids is called a nitrating acid mixture. After acids are mixed, add their cellulose or cotton wool. As cotton wool is a 100% cellulose, it is necessary that the entire wool is soaked with nitrating mixture. Now leave it for 15 minutes for cellulose to nitrate. What happens within this reaction? The cellulose consists of many interconnected glucose molecules. Each glucose molecule contains some hydroxyl groups. After the reaction of cellulose with concentrated nitric acid, Nitric acid replaces the hydrogen atoms of hydroxyl groups with the nitro groups. Nitro groups boost the flammability of cellulose. Concentrated sulfuric acid absorbs allocated water. After 15 minutes, cellulose is nitrated. Now it should be rinsed in a cold water to get rid of the acid residues. I am adding a little baking soda to neutralize the acid solution. After we have washed nitrocellulose, it is then possible to take it with bare hands. Now squeeze nitrocellulose and leave it to dry. After nitration the cellulose has become much stronger to the touch. Now it's time for testing. This is how a regular cellulose burns. And this is a burning nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose burns so quickly that it can be ignited while holding it with hands and not getting them burned. 